Welcome to video 85 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to write a script to spawn the enemies. Okay, so I'll make a new script. I'll call it spawner proximity and then open that up. And all it's going to do is that when the player gets close enough, it'll just spawn enemies. That's pretty much it. And then get rid of itself. Public game object. Object to spawn. Public int number to spawn. Private float proximity. I should probably put this to public, so let me just put that to public. Private float check rate. Private float next check. Private transform my transform. Private transform player transform. Private vector three spawn position. I won't need the on enable and on disable methods. And this method here, new one, check distance. And another method here, void spawn objects. Okay, in set initial references, my transform is equal to transform, player transform is equal to game manager references dot player dot transform. Check rate is equal to random dot range, say 0 0.8 f to 1.2 f. So each spawner is a little bit different. Okay, I'll set the initial references here. In update I will check the distance. So check distance. And here, if time.time .time is greater than next check, then next check is equal to time dot time plus check rate. If vector three dot distance my transform dot position player transform dot position less than proximity then spawn objects and this dot enabled is equal to false. All right, so for spawning objects, we'll spawn as per the number to spawn. So for int i equal to zero, i less than number to spawn, i plus plus, Spawn position is equal to my transform dot position plus random dot inside unit sphere times just a size five. So this way they each one doesn't spawn on top of the other, or very unlikely to anyway. Then instantiate object to spawn and the position is spawn position. And the rotation simply my transform dot rotation. So whatever the rotation of the spawn point itself. Okay, so that should be it. Looks like it's done. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I'll just make a uh, empty. Okay, where is that? Anyhow, all right, it's up in space. I'll reset that. Bring it over here, for example. 
All right, I'll call this spawn. I'll drop on the spawner proximity. I'll get rid of the golems. Okay, drag it on. Number to spawn, say like 10. Proximity, say we have to be 50 units in order to for that to spawn. Let me just check it was all up to date. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's try it out. Okay, so there are 10 in there. You can see that they're just wandering around uh, with their wander script. So as soon as a few of them see the player, they'll start to chase the player, those that have seen it. And once I move into view, all of them are. Right, so now I can actually have a full-scale fight. Oh, yeah. Better go get that block back. It's a good thing they don't move very fast. They're not too dangerous. <laughs> right, okay, so the spawn script is working just fine. In the next video, I'm going to, uh, I guess, show you a requested feature. So someone requested a uh, fleeing behavior. So I'll show that as well. All right, so I've just about had my fun. There we go. That's it. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.